I'm Alarian Gallant, a public artist and landscape architect here in Victoria. I'm here to talk about my piece, Group of Seven. So Group of Seven is really a maquette, and maquette is French for a little slice of life. And I've used this to try out uh, some ideas. And my big idea was, what does red haze look like in the air? So it was the idea of getting the color red, um, you know, 10 feet, nine feet up in the air to see how it works for a bigger idea, which I'm working on, making something at 30 feet. Group of Seven is a bit of a play on the Canadian idea of the Group of Seven painters. There are seven elements here, and it's a play on their greatness, but also it's a play on uh, their love of the landscape. Uh, so what you see here is um, aluminum piece with, uh, with uh, red flowers. And the red flowers with the holes are similar to my idea of uh, the piece I did at the airport um, at the departures, but also it's a piece that I did last year um, called Flower Power, which is currently in Castlegar. So I'm very fortunate in my life to practice as both landscape architect and as a public artist because I'm working in the public realm, I'm working in the landscape. So a lot of my work uh, has been traditionally uh, situated in the landscape, but I'm always looking at the relationship between the landscape and work and looking at how uh, the social fabric and how the urban fabric changes. So uh, a lot of my work is based on, uh, on those kinds of transitions and changes. I am overjoyed when I see public art, but I also know it causes a lot of controversy. That's probably quite fine for you, the artist, that you see this controversy. Public art is about discussion and about discourse, and if um, public art gets people talking, it's fine. And one of the greatest pieces is, the, is Maury Baden's piece in front of the um, Save on Foods. A lot of people don't like it. I love it, because really it's about, in my opinion, it's about David and Goliath, and that piece gets people talking. What a fabulous example of public art today and a wonderful trip around Oak Bay that we had with Arts Laureate Barb Adams. One very important point before we go, Barb, everybody can become quite involved in participating, interacting with the public art and voting. Tell us how that works. Well, voting, voting because the piece voted most popular will be uh, purchased by the municipality to become, one, become another permanent legacy in Oak Bay. Uh, and voting, voting happens at the plaques at each sculpture. There are QR codes and you can use your smartphone um, to vote. Uh, the, you can also find out information about the sponsor or the artist at that point as well. Uh, you can also vote at Oak Bay Rec, Henderson Rec, Creation Center, uh, Oak Bay Municipality, and at the shops of the sponsors. Please vote. <laughs> Thanks so much, Barb. Be sure to take a stroll through Oak Bay, enjoy the public art for yourself, and we'll see you next time. Hair services provided by Salon J, Suite 101, 2506 Beacon Avenue in Sydney.